Here we are on the fair line. Here's the cockpit of the boat. Very good condition. The teak. The teak is one of the first things that you see and if that is beautiful and maintained it's uh, generally from my experience the boat is well maintained. So you can you can tell a lot about a boat by just looking at the teak deck. Three, four, actually. Beautiful interior. It's the galley. Very well equipped lower helm and upper helms. So the galley has uh, things like dishwasher, uh, dark garbage disposal, uh, very nice microwave, a very large fridge, uh, cooking head or forehead electric cooker very nice uh, sink for you know, double sink you know you can defrost meat in one kind of thing like how we normally want in our kitchens uh, two doors side doors access very nice little uh, seating area access to the deck of course it's a big boat so, so uh, again now we're going to the rooms the cabins um, beautiful beautiful the spaciousness is just something that makes me very happy and it's just nice to see of course a big boat no doubt it's uh, here is a forward cabin I mean it is a big boat but but yet uh, Fairline uh, knows how to maximize the space and make it uh, into something just so beautiful uh, the, it just like it feels traditional the design is very classic yet it seems very new uh, of course because of the condition uh, but it just feels so nice so much light uh, here is the the cabin I'm gonna go to the washroom I was surprised of the size of the washroom I mean this is a forward cabin washroom here we go look at that beautiful that's me in the mirror always there we go getting out of the cabin and here are a guest cabin with twin beds yeah, this is a starboard one simple functional a nice air vent you know air vent and uh, speakers and here is another one so and uh, these guest cabins share one common toilet which is accessed from the port guest cabin so this is the toilet access here we go beautiful spacious you know a not so slim person like me can so comfortably be around so uh, very 
very spacious indeed. Let's go to the master cabin. This is just absolutely huge. Uh, it's uh, really uh, spacious with a lot of sunlight and in such a good condition that it makes me feel happy just being here. <laughs> here, here you go. Just a beautiful ceiling design. It's, it's what, it's, you know, very traditional, classic kind of design. Nice flat screen TVs. They made life so much easier. Here, here's the washroom with double sink, toilet, bidet. very large uh, shower compartment here sorry I hope I'm not moving my camera too fast maybe I'm always kind of in a rush I guess here we go more side door entrance um, good here's a sunbed very nice sunbed with uh, holding rails all around it yeah, I'm gonna give you another one. You see, you got an anchor windlass, cleats, hatch windows, some storage out here. Uh, both sides have a side door to the deck from the interior. Beautiful. Very nice fiberglass condition. As far as I can see, this is in a great condition. Ah, yeah. Here is a, a grill and a sink, and a, here's a fridge and an ice maker. Very important uh, when people are up here. And the leisure time. There you go. This is slightly unusual compared to the rubbish bin here. Uh, I mean, slightly unusual compared to normal uh, normal uh, boats uh, because this this uh, thing is moved a little bit more to the middle, uh, and that's uh, to create a space in the corner to to do the barbecue. Uh, again, Fairline always has a little bit special flybridge compared to all other boats, all other brands. They try to innovate a lot and and uh, uh, the flybridge space is actually very important uh, because the maximum amount of time people spend on flybridge is leisure. So this needs to be comfortable, spacious. Um, having a fridge and ice maker is such a good idea because uh, you don't have to go down all the time. Um, there it is. A nice uh, David crane. Yeah, just call us a David in boats, of course. Uh, the capacity looks like. go inside the engine room and the crew cabin there is a storage a very large storage 
with the opening from back. This is a crew cabin in the aft. Um, of course, it's uh, not used much, probably used for storage, and they even have a small toilet for themselves. Yeah, with a shower. So it's uh, not bad. I mean, it is spacious, the crew cabin. It's a beautiful, really well kept engine room. It's again sometimes it's a pleasure to see boats that are well maintained professionally, and just taken care of. Two generators, Onan. Uh, one's a 22 kilowatts, another is a 17 kilowatts. Uh, kilowatts. The engines are mad, it's got a water maker. Nice blowers, here's the engine, looks still the original paint on, still clean. Um, the exact horsepower and everything of the engine I will know later. Very well designed engine room. 